guys, thanks for tuning in to the Alcor channel. Or I guess today we're tuning into the Alcook channel. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Wow. Hello, hello. Hi. Oh, there it is. Hi. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, preemptively gonna say sorry about any audio issues today. I am in the kitchen. It's a little harder to set up. I literally taped the webcam to my change thing. Uh, what's the thing called that suckies the air when you cook? That's where I taped my webcam. Anyway, <laughs> um, unfortunately, I don't have a mic arm, so the mic is directly on the table. You'll probably hear a lot of banging noises. Hopefully it's not too loud. I did set like filters and stuff, so it shouldn't break your eardrums. But yeah. Just sorry in advance for all those, all those things. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit scuffed. Hello, hello. Yes, the vent. That's what it's called. Yeah, the webcam's attached to the vent, and the mic is on the table, and my laptop's on the counter. And I didn't want to have to move the webcam around while streaming, so I'm just gonna bring everything to this very small, limited space. And hopefully it goes well. But yeah, here we have the big boy. I was I was weighing the big boy before scream. And big egg. It's 3.8 pounds of egg. So it's about two dozen eggs, probably. Uh yeah. I hope it's still good, because I got this a couple weeks ago, but I had to go on my case. So Ooh kind of convenient that I have this when there's like an egg shortage last me a while. I am cooking for some friends today. Hopefully I make something edible. Woo! Big egg long. It, it is pretty big. I don't- my hands aren't very big. It, it's still a big And I also have two emu eggs. We're gonna use one today maybe? Emu egg looks like avocado. It's a bit smaller than the ostrich egg. It's a nice greenish, blackish color. Also very solid. That egg scares me. Why? It's like really solid. Solid, solid shell. So I have prepared a hammer to open it. I don't know how to open this thing properly. So if we break egg and it explodes, I'll just Cry. Where's my big leg? Is there a normal egg for comparison? Oh yeah, let me grab one. Running out of counter space. is like a normal egg. A uh, organic, not large egg. I'm gonna drop this, but it's it's a pretty big difference. This is from the same lady who gave me the ostrich egg. So backstory here, I used to work for a lady who owns a flower shop. The same lady also owns a ranch, and at the ranch she has flowers for her shop. She has lots of farm animals, and the farm animals include chickens, ducks, and apparently ostriches and emus, so fun variety. So recently, she was like, hey, you want an ostrich egg? And I was like, okay, I don't know what to do with it, but okay. So here we, here we are. <laughs> Dinosaur eggs, yeah, pretty much. Now if this helps, but this is a duck egg. It's bigger than a chicken egg by a, a bit. So it's... I don't know if it helps, but more comparisons. Yeah, it's a pretty big, big egg. And I hope I don't break my finger trying to open it. Yeah, I'm gonna put this thing, this big bowl. Who's gonna eat the cooking? I have invited a couple of friends over to pick up omelets if they would like to, but if nothing else, I'm probably going to be eating this for days. 
Do we start with the ostrich egg or do you guys want to do emu egg first? I feel like they're both very solid, so I actually don't know. Maybe just both. Hmm. Eat them separately or just together? How do I have a smaller mixing bowl? Ugh. Sorry about the sounds. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you for the sub, Blue. Maybe this one's a better size. Okay, that's like the more comfy size. It's definitely enough space to hold the egg anyway, so I don't need the ginormous one. Woo. Hmm. I have a hammer. It's a hammer for building things, so it looks dirty, but I did sanitize it. It's clean. <laughs> it is, I was looking at videos and they just... It was it was a two-person job. Someone held it and the other person... What happens when I don't have friends? Hmm... You hold it and... I'm gonna put it in... Stay, don't move. I don't know if this is gonna work. What if I just straight up hammer the egg? I don't wanna crack it front with this. Ugh. Another one. Maybe this one is the right size? Well, okay, maybe that's better, since it... I'm just gonna pull out all the mixing bowl that this... Okay, so this bowl isn't big enough to hold the yolk, but it's big enough to allow the egg to kind of stand up. Oh! Welcome raiders! Carmi raid! Carmi raid! Thank you, give me one moment. Carmi! Spelling this right. Oh, wait. Wrong, wrong, but- Ah! That's not- Sorry. Rain. <laughs> Big egg, yes. Okay, shout out. me. How was your stream, Carmi? How was Zelda? I hope you had a good time. Here we go. Yeah, accidentally started a raid instead of, you know, giving a shout out to the raiders. Because my brain is as scrambled as this egg is gonna be. <laughs> and also thank you for the follow. But yeah, today we are gonna try to open this big egg. -oo. It's uh, 3.8 pounds. I'm struggling trying to figure out how to do this. I w had no practice or anything, so... There's also no one home to help me hold this up. It was fun, but a little frustrating at times. Yeah, that's... You had fun. I'm glad you had fun. Thank you for the follow. I might just... Just do this and see. I don't have a mallet, so... Fortunately, it has to be a hammer. Not move. I'm scared. Okay, that's not doing anything. What if I just like... It, it cracked like, oops, a tiny, tiny hole. Okay, there's like a tiny hole, not big enough to do anything. If I keep doing this, maybe this equivalent of drilling a hole. Maybe. Thank you for the follow. Oh. 
Sorry about the sound, I'm sure it sounds terrible for you guys. <laughs> Iggy, Iggy, stay. This is the same screwdriver I was using for Tamagotchis just a few days ago. Maybe it helps if I move the other one. This is so fun! <laughs> I'm trying! The only ones home are me and my pets, so it's not like I can get someone to hold the egg for right? Okay, it went in. There is definitely a hole. I, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, you can see. Yeah, there's a hole. Okay, so we need to make a hole on the other side, and then the yellow can start coming up. Oh. Be messy. I hope I don't make a mess on this. Stick a straw in it? No! You're not gonna use another egg to open it? No! You want something edible or not? <laughs> oh, okay. There it goes. It's in. Um, now to switch to a slightly bigger one so the stuff can come out. Egg egg tainer. Egg container. Okay, move that over. It looks like I just stuck a syringe in this. Oh, okay, I heard it make like a toot noise. Gonna come out. Maybe I have to be- Oh, oh! Here comes the yolk! Oh. You guys don't get a good angle on this, but there's stuff coming out. A little drip isn't gonna- Ever. Okay, maybe, maybe I make the whole thing. This is different. Maybe I... Not a good idea. Heck, I didn't plan this out properly! <laughs> um... If I, okay, maybe if I just like chip off the sides. Hope I don't get any... I shall... I'm clearly an expert at... Get a napkin. Yes, hello. Thank you for the subscription. Oh. So I got a little bitty of egg out, but only a little bitty. And I assume at some point I'm gonna have to stab the yolk so it comes out. I'm gonna use the opening bigger. This is so scuffed. I don't know if you guys can see, but some of the egg white is coming out, but like really slowly. This thing is heavy. My arms aren't made for. Buddy. At least my hands are. Yes, hello, hello, new friends. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alcor. I usually do art streams and Pokemon streams, and you know, cozy streams like that. But I've been learning how to cook, and I got this ostrich egg as a gift. So, here we are. I'm doing okay though, at least I didn't crack the egg open. Tuna Mama was very afraid that I was going to destroy the entire egg by bring it, but I wasn't going to hit it would be funny, but really messy, I'm sure. I'm like chiseling away at this. So some people do this with saw. I don't think we have those. So we're just gonna slowly the whole bigger. But yeah, how's everyone's what day is it? Tuesday. How's everyone's Tuesday? lift weights with you so we can crack ostrich eggs. Probably have to do that if this is going to be a regular thing. I, I think I am happy to just eat regular chicken eggs, so... I'm 
a booty shortage right now. It does make sense. Lift that for this. Oh no, I dropped the shell. That. Aura and Ario in the chat are two of my lucky or unlucky friends who get to um, test my lit kicking. I'm gonna try my best to make something that does. Oh, okay, that one. That is okay. That is a okay. So I was trying to make the opening nice and round. Is it? I worked at a place with ostrich and they used a bicycle pump to bubble the innards out, not for eating them. Oh, interesting. What do they do with the shells? not qualified as a skin. You can see why. That should be a big enough hole for most of you. I just sniffed it. It's not stinky. The egg is okay. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Alcor, how does it feel to see Alcor not eating- Oh, Ariel, how does it feel to see Alcor not eating chicken eggs for once? I'm sorry, I'm really far away from a computer. I can barely see anything. Oh, you can see the yolk is coming out. I believe I have to shake an egg. Come on. Ooh. That is very orange compared to visual eggs, I feel like. It's a very saturated color. Exciting! Feel free to drop all your eggs away. Did I poke it with a chopstick? Did I just stick my finger in there? What do I do? I can't just like pop the egg. Okay, let me go grab chopstick. Chopsticks are great for a lot of things. Very versatile. That egg is huge! Hi, Mouth. <laughs> Mouth is you're the master of baking. What would you do if you had a giant ostrich? What would you make with So I realized I put like very calm music as the BGM. Maybe I should have chosen something more chaotic. Come on. Ah. I'm tired. My arm is tired. This might take a while. Oh! Peace is coming out. Do you guys hear the sound of it being a loopy? I guess not. I don't think you guys can hear it. Oh, I think that was all of the yolk. Like, this is a lot of egg. Heck.
They shook it so much that the last part they're already like kind of foamy. <laughs> How do you get it out somehow? Did Egu set it? I'm gonna say that probably pretty good. Oh, I'm not trying to make work. Alright, so I made a bit of a mess on this side, but we did get most of it out, so I'm pretty happy with that. And we didn't crack the rest of the egg, so good. Good. This thing. Yeah. Wash the excess yolk off of me. Whew. Yeah, it sounds gloopy. If you put a bowl at the top of the egg, it might help. Yeah, that was the first thing we did. <laughs> Hi, Meru. Okay. Now we, uh, so we're making an omelette today. We're going to mix this. Well, thank you for the gift sub. Specifically to the chicken. We're celebrating ostriches. So I'm gonna get my big... There we go. So it looks pretty good. It's not unfresh it hasn't gone bad it's been sitting in the fridge for a good two or three weeks at this point, so pretty impressive stuff but it does look like i put two dozen eggs in this i don't know you guys know how many regular chicken eggs are supposed to go in a normal omelet you get an ostrich for? I worked for a lady who owns a ranch and she has ostriches and she gave me potential. Uh, she didn't give me an ostrich, she gave me an ostrich. But doesn't hatch an ostrich. Don't know what I would do with an <laughs> You need to get another and hatch it? I don't think we have space for that, but also I'm pretty sure my dog would be terrified. <laughs> poor doggo. We did get to visit her ranch once. It was quite nice. Ostriches were just walking around the ranch like they owned it, and they're pretty friendly birds. They were just curious. They would poke their heads into the car and be like, do you have food? But nice birds. They look scary, big, but they won't hurt you if you don't bother them. I don't know about wild ones. Wouldn't recommend going up to a wild one. Ooh, that's so cool. Definitely save the shell with a very cool knickknack. True. She wanted me to keep the shell and paint on it or something. So I do artsy things. She doesn't seem to know I don't actually paint. <laughs> this is well beaten. It's like pretty deep. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna make a few separate batches of this. So, I'm gonna save some on the side to not salt. The rest is gonna get salted and peppered. I think this actually. Thank you for the follow up, Jarton. I'm sorry, I am too far away from Green to see names, but tomorrow I'm doing a Tamagotchi stream, so I'll be able to get all the thank you messages. enough for an omelet, right? This is like, I don't even know, like five, six eggs? I was thinking of also making some egg for my dog. Doggo has never had ostrich egg in his life, and he probably won't even know he's a doggo. I just probably don't think what kind of egg egg is. 
anything. A male ostrich just and defending its hens can be very dangerous. One put a gash in a car door at the place I worked. Oh, jeez. Scary. They are like dinosaurs. I mean, birds are dinosaurs. They're, they're scary. All right, I'm gonna work on this one first. Let's salt them. Pepper thing isn't super good. It does feel pretty runny. Probably just because there was so much water in there. Or... Oh! Actually, maybe that was too much salt. Oh well! does love her salt. Yeah, I'm a very salty fish. I'm so... Kitchen is a mess. I did prep most of the ingredients, as in I spent time uh, washing them. I didn't finish cutting everything, so I'm gonna... So, garlic. Those of you who know me IRL know I am a garlic fiend. I eat so much garlic. When I cook, I use so much garlic. This is an entire garlic. So usually when a recipe calls for one clove of garlic, I put 103. So put my friend's garlic. Why did you stand up like that? will say don't cut your things like I do because my knife skills are extremely lacking. That being said, I don't tend to cut myself, so it's good enough for me. Okay, so this way. And compost bin. An appropriate amount of garlic. Excellent. Be careful. You will be okay. You get to hear some very low quality kitchen ASMR, I guess. And I'm gonna try to mince it. I spent like half an hour grating cheese before the stream. And I was like, I really should have just bought shredded moth instead of buying a giant block and grating it myself. That was a lot of time and effort, and there were so many pieces that I couldn't get into the grater that I just ended up eating or sharing with my dog. He was really happy, of course. He loves cheese. What kind of cheese? Mozzarella. I feel like mozzarella, being a white cheese, works really well with spinach mushroom. That's the plan for today. I'm gonna regret it later because I am lactose intolerant. But it's gonna taste good! Hi, Hika! And also, my knife is not very good. <laughs> like, it's, you can probably see, it's pretty dented on the sides. We'll get new ones eventually. It works well enough for now. I also wanted to take the time to thank my friends who got me kitchen stuff for Christmas. I put a bunch of kitchen things on my wish list for Christmas and woke, woke up one day in front of the door with a big box full of just all the KitchenAid things I, I wanted. So, thank you, Abe. Thank you, Plant. The mandolin, grater, spicer thing has been helping a lot. I used to cry a lot over dicing onions, and I still do but a little bit less now. Okay, this is... I don't think I've ever chopped in it. Time to sharpen these... Yeah! 
it's okay. My partner has been looking into fancy knives because he wants a fancy kitchen knife. So I've been, I've been just letting him do it. <laughs> if he wants one, he can find one that he likes and we can get it. We're gonna build the kitchens of our dreams. Yes, yes we are. But originally I was thinking that at around this time I would be moving into a new house, new place to live, apartment. So I was also prepping a lot of kitchen stuff in anticipation of moving. It it doesn't seem like I'll be moving anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, now I just have extra kitchen things because I still have all this stuff at home. Just do an Easton win. He only makes steak. He only makes steak. It's been I'm sure there's a more effective way, efficient way to do this. But this is what worked for me! <laughs> His steak tasted pretty good. But that was your first time having steak, right? How do you know if it tastes good if you haven't had any other steak? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. You guys like to cook? What do you guys like to cook? I didn't eat much of lunch, nor do I usually eat breakfast, so it can be my very late one. I woke up, ate some salad, and then started cleaning the kitchen. I've been here all day. <laughs> Whatever duty me was better than that cardboard. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I kind of don't remember at what stage I'm supposed to put the garlic in, so I also don't know how minced it should be. A little bit smaller is probably safe. gonna say this is almost about good. I still see there are like some giant chunks of garlic in here, but for the most part it's pretty minced. So just a little more. Great! Right. Good enough for me. Maybe I should have cut the. I don't want to remove the acrylic from. Rinse it real quick. Napolitan pasta. Mmm. Pasta's good. Smells yummy. I made carbonara yesterday. It tasted pretty good, except no one in the house knows what carbonara is like. So all we know is, well, it tastes it tastes fine. I don't know if it's right, but it's it's okay. You know what, this does it matter if the parsley is in small pieces, it's burnish. I'm still kind of sad. The parsley I tried to grow never sprouted. Whenever I need pasta, actually not pasta, 
whenever I need first liquid, I actually buy it. This is my throat. The shaking cutting board is giving me max anxiety. It's because it's not that big, partially. But also, sometimes this sing singy gets caught on things. It's fine. Not to. Sorry, it's giving you anxiety. I'm not a super safe kitchen person, but it's okay. We'll be fine. Let's fell off real quick. Eventually, I'm gonna get a bigger cut. I'll usually use it for fruit. Alright, it's not like very well cut or anything, but it works. So, it's. it's. Thing. I don't know. On this camera, Josh, I need more stuff. There you go. You can get started on the actual cooking part now. Choppy, choppy ASMR. I'm sorry, it's probably not very good quality ASMR. Fingers are greater than content. Hmm. It's okay. The fingies are okay. Like pussies poor audible. I guess the either four is probably fine. Hmm. Alright, while the pan is warming, butter. piece of butter that I cut from yesterday. And that's gonna take a little time to warm up. I'm learning to make Japanese dishes. Bulletin pasta was the first thing that came to mind as ketchup ingredient. Ah, I think this is a pretty good ingredient. I like ketchup fried rice, but some people are like, what? You put ketchup in your fried rice? So, for different people, I guess. I'm gonna cut a little. Does sound weird, but you never know. <laughs> it's fair. We also sometimes do stir fried shrimp and ketchup, also pretty good. Uh, I guess I might 
sound weird to some people, but it's something I grew up with. So for me, it's just a normal part of life. <laughs> Alright, out of all the garlic is going in. I know it'd be hot enough yet, but it's fine. Garlic stir fried. But... It's not making a sizzle. Maybe, maybe I should have a little longer. <laughs> Your kitchen must smell amazing right now. It does just regularly smell like a ton of garlic. So if you think that's amazing, then yes, it smells amazing. <laughs> if you don't like garlic being everywhere, then ahaha. Because sometimes my partner gets home and he's like, you smell like garlic, and I'm like, yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm a garlic girl. Excellent. Me too. You also like onions. I feel like a lot of the onions and garlic go hand in hand. Up a little faster. Please. So I'm not entirely sure how much spinach, mushroom, and everything to use. So. We're gonna find out. Worst case scenario, I make a bunch and eat it for the rest of the week. Keep the vampire. Oh. Well, what if I have friends who are vampires? I don't want to keep them all. <laughs> oh, now it's starting to there. Also, this is a new spatula. I have never used it before. Oops. It's, it's a KitchenAid one. It's pretty nice. But it is also pretty big. Like, compared to my. Like the side of my hand. I'm used to a slightly small. <laughs> Godspeed, fish chef. Thank you, Dano. Thank you. Okay, now it smells real. I'm gonna say this is probably. I'm gonna add in onions now. Onions. Onions. My favorite things. Favorite ingredients. After today, I need to go buy more garlic. Okay. 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 Nom nom nom. Wish I could invite you all over to eat. Alas, we'll have to choose a few nearby victims instead. So, I promise most of my food ends up edible, so it's not like an absolute. Mushrooms. Of mushrooms. EFTI, I invited you, but you are too far away. Okay, I think I'm supposed to cook the mushrooms until they get a little squishier. Unfortunately, I don't think my mic can catch the sizzling sound. Filters, so uh, add your own sizzle sound effect. <laughs> oh, really good. Mm, I'm hungry. And if you see things flying out of the pan, I'm sorry. Sometimes that just happens. I'm not very good at keeping things, in. but I'll clean up later. I swear. <laughs> Need it to be like actually. Maybe I didn't put enough butter for an amount of stuff there.
Look. You can do this. Thank you, thank you. Flying down right now. I'm waiting for you, Melfis. Come through. never cooked these particular mushrooms before. I think they're Baby Bella. I usually use either button or... oh no. I think I just use button mushrooms usually, so... It should be about the same though. Hey! <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, it does- it is looking soft. Maybe I should have cut the mushroom into smaller pieces. These are really big. <laughs> you can add more butter or oil. Alright. Need to cut more butter. Yeah, I was about to say. They're the same mushroom. Oh, okay. Bellas and buttons are the same. Okay, so they're just different sizes. I know that the the really big portabella mushroom is just the bigger baby Bella. Are they also the same as the cremini mushroom? Actually, is that what I got? I'm not even sure what I got. Melt, butter, melt. Yes, and the big one is portobello. Okay, okay. I am learning. Unfortunately, I don't have a pan bigger than this one, so this is the size limit for the omelets. So instead of one really big omelet, which would have been really cute, we're just gonna make several smaller ones. That will probably be easier to eat anyway. So, it's okay. They seem cooked. Are they cooked? It does smell very good. And by very good, I mean it just smells like garlic, and that's excellent. Mushrooms don't necessarily have a strong smell on there. At least, in my opinion. But the whole room just smells like garlic and onions. I don't see a problem with that. That's gotta be cooked. Okay. Add in some spinach. Supposed to cook the spinach in or two. Okay, maybe that was a little bit more. It's fine. Greens. That's actually a pretty nice green. Spinach will shrink a lot here. Okay. I think I've only ever made spinach in soup. <laughs> and spinach in soup does shrink a lot too, so excellent. Eventually, I'll have a set of 
hands and get a little more get either they will release a lot that's okay I think it's okay three five. we'll put it on the egg <laughs> going to this a bit. Okay, because I not too bad. And it is mostly salt. I like a lot of salt in my food. I'm gonna try not to oversalt it. So other people eating it can decide if they want to add more salt. No, not everyone is a salty fish like I am. <laughs> I feel like your pen is too small for the amount of food you put in. It's fine. Not like I have a choice to use a bigger pan. <laughs> Spinach meme. will surely work with the limit. I'm doing my best. I'm gonna turn it off. It is pretty liquidy right now. Um, it's fine. I'm gonna be putting it in. You know, I maybe I should put more spinach. I have more spinach. Put more spinach. What do you guys think of the spinach and mushroom? I have so much more spinach. I just add more spinach to the shrimp. Does the mushroom? Uh, <laughs> Just co cook directly on the stock. Hmm. I don't know about that one. I don't feel like that's very sanitary. Alright, Ariel, how do you feel about the spinach? You're gonna eat this. Just saying. I put in the onion because you requested onion. Goni actually didn't want onion. <laughs> do you soap at the same time it'll be clean? Oh, you're right, you're right. I personally add more spinach, but also means you'd have to wait even longer to evaporate out of it. But yeah, all the time in the world. We have plenty of Fish grab spinach. Eat cereal. Spinach mushroom ratio looks perfect. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I just put in more, but that's fine. Spinach is good. Yummy stuff. Greens. My concern was that mushrooms are kind of big. I thought they would shrink to a lot smaller. But no. It's okay. Give it a little more. Yeah, or it's not bad. <laughs> Spinach is a veggie. Very good. But do you guys prefer it cooked or raw? In salads, too. Fire. I am going to put it on a separate plate for a while. Put it back in the omelette. I don't have to. Liquid at the so I'm not too concerned about it being very wet right now. Good. That looks green. Elk, we're about to serve green eggs in hand. Oh, yes, the classic. Looks yummy. Thanks. A couple leaves. Personally, I 
don't mind if my spinach is very soft. So, maybe a little longer. <laughs> I don't like the feeling of the calcium reaction in my mouth when I eat too much spinach. Oh, I don't think I've ever eaten enough to experience thing. Do you eat it in like a salad or do you just eat it? On its own? There's some people do that too. It looks good now. Hmm. Let me go find a bowl big enough. Okay, I'm gonna put this in a plate. Oh, that's a lot of liquid. Going to wipe the pan down a little. Out of now. Didn't anticipate that. Non-stick pan. I just wiped it to get the liquid off. We should be ready to go on to the next stage, which involves actual egu. You've never had the feeling of the little silica balls when you eat too much spinach? No, I don't think so. Are you allergic to spinach, or is that just like a normal thing? I don't feel like I've ever eaten enough raw spinach for that. <laughs> Egg. the egg, let's medium heat, I'm gonna put olive oil. That was right when I remember that I need both. I don't know how much olive oil I'm supposed to put, so here we go. I'll send a link in Trash Discord for you to read at your. Okay, interesting. I've never, I've never heard about that, or I just, I don't know, don't know this. <laughs> so thank you. Warmed up. Thank you. Wonder how many scoops of big egg I should bring in this. Is it still medium heat? Is it warm? It's warmed up. Okay, pretty decent. I'm gonna start scooping some egg in there. I don't 
Give it a huge mouth. Just big soup right now. All right. It's gonna make a pretty small for the amount of egg we have. How many omelets am I gonna have to make? I think I put two. Oh, we'll know for the next. Oh, little please. I get the feeling the first one might end up being <laughs> many, many egg. That that is fair. We still have an emu egg to emu egg which is right here. It's been sitting here just waiting patiently. I feel like if I Sure, it's going to be scrambled egg. Maybe it's not bad to have some ostrich scrambled egg as well. I too much egg anyway. Hmm. Spread, my lovely spread. I do have another pan that might be a little bigger, but it's it's pretty old. Oh, instead of an I don't think we should use that one. <laughs> oh, I scared a sizzle. Promise. Okay, maybe three. But it's. Your time, you. Your time. It's still pretty lit. But it's it's getting there. <laughs> you can see the steam. Smells pretty good though. Rich and eggy. Mm. I move it so the extra go to the bottom. Lift. I don't know how I'm gonna get this. sort of thing. Theoretically, I can't omelet that. <laughs> Half boiled is so good. Yeah, it's so hard to get the time right. I have definitely ended up with soft boiled eggs. Are probably too close to Or our dog. 
vegetable. Okay, so it's almost done. The sides there are a little bit of knee parts. I'm gonna grab the. At home, mozzarella cheese. Hopefully, we can get a nice cheese. Oh, and I try one of these. I don't know how much. We get some chopsticks, spoons. don't know the proper ratio of things to omelets and, and omelets. And then more moths on top. Cheese bowl. I'm gonna I'm gonna cry because I am lactose but I really liked Gotta be enough to great, great. Okay, now I have to somehow get this to um flip on. I can do this. Yeah, Eggy, Eggy, work with me a little. Cool. Can't do that. Oh, man, I should have put it on the other side. Heck. Okay, okay, Eggy. Okay, Eggy. Uh, it didn't really make it all the way, but here, squish it a little. Yeah, it's like almost an omelet. I just didn't fold it quite properly. I'm gonna get cheap. And this part probably doesn't have any filling, but you know, we got the spirit. First try, right? First attempt. It's not the worst. We, we have omelet number one. Oh, oh no, the cheese is... Oh. Yeah, I should probably put it in a box. This one's not very attractive, so it's probably just for me. But it's certainly not gonna be the worst. I'd still give it a bite. <laughs> First try! Hi, Flair! How are you doing? Beautiful. It looks really tasty. Should I, should I eat a piece first or should I make the next one? What do you guys think? Should I cut a piece? It? Taste test? Okay, okay. Here we have omelette. Um, have a little porcelain knife. At a corner, I guess? I'm just gonna eat it with my hands because at this point, utensils are everywhere. Get a cheese. Oh, there's, there's a cheese pull. Okay, well, there's a bit of a cheese pull, but also the stuff fell out, so... <laughs> okay. Probably too hot for... Eggu! I love eggs so much, welcome! Hmm. 
Okay, the spinach mushroom balls is pretty good. I will say the egg just tastes like a chicken egg. I don't I don't taste the difference between ostrich and chicken egg. I also had duck last night. It also tasted the same to me. It's pretty good though. Nom nom nom. It's probably a bit too squishy inside because I forgot to drain the spinach mushroom thing. But I don't think that's too bad. Like, it doesn't bother me, it might bother I'm not very happy about that part. <laughs> Eggs without the shell screen. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's pretty good. And it's hot, so I'm eating really slowly. I'm just gonna eat this little piece until we're gonna make the next omelet. This was good practice. I know I was like, that's too much cheese, but I could have put more. I would not have minded if I put more. So at some point, I might have to grate more. <laughs> hmm. Let me put this away and wash my hands. So for an omelet, it works. It's pretty good. Uh, it's just like it's just egg. <laughs> I don't. I didn't really expect it to taste like not chicken egg, so I'm not disappointed. I think you should have tossed the entire bowl in, bowl included, of course. Yeah, bowls for extra calcium and minerals. This bowl, this bowl, plastic, calcium, minerals. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna turn this on and start working on the next one. Hopefully we can get this filled. I think I put too much on the photo for But the texture of the egg was pretty okay. It was kind of fluffy, which a lot of people appreciate. Maybe I should have wiped it. Oh well, if it burns, then I know for the next one. <laughs> If you have any allergies you need me to know about that might be relevant. Maybe I should eat these crisp or whatever. When chefs make a big batch of something, do they actually have to do the they're making the bowl of the I guess it depends on the food, huh? On this stream, we're gonna watch how many omelets Alcor can eat one after another. The answer is about 0.5. This time around, hope that helps. Need more table space. All right, last time I put what four, four spoonfuls. Ooh, that made a nice sizzle. is probably better. It took a really long time to cook it last time, so it's three. Three big smokes. That's it a little bit. Hmm. 
this back. Problem with a really big spatula is you need more space to put it down. How about this? Yeah, there you go. Here out the egg. The last one did bubble up like. But it's gonna take me enough to make cheese and whatever that I'm just gonna start. It's like pretty much cooked. Okay. Mm. Hope you all like cheese. A lot of cheese. A lot, a lot of cheese. This time, grip it. more mushroom. I do have more of every ingredient except for- oh I don't have more garlic. Mm, okay maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> This is like almost empty, but I have oh, wait. Mm -hmm. ah! I think I overcooked the outside. <laughs> but it's not gonna be the worst thing. So not terrible. It definitely actually went in more this time. Actual omelette, just a little overcooked, my bad. <laughs> Really? I thought omelettes were like pretty hot brown. Like they're just very fluffy and yellow, are they not? 
It's, a, it's definitely edible. <laughs> Batch three? I don't know how much egg I have. But don't forget, we also have emu egg, so I'm opening that afterwards. I still have quite a bit of this. here to sizzle this time, right? <laughs> Light brown is okay? Okay, okay. As long as it's okay. That's fair. I'm not a professional. the emu egg is just gonna end up being mixed in with the ostrich egg because there's still a bit of the ostrich left but I don't think actually it might be enough for it to um, we'll see but if it's mixed it's probably not a big deal because they're about the same thing <laughs> the size of emu egg is compared to chicken eggs. I was told that an ostrich egg is about two dozen chicken eggs. Well, what size the emu one would be then. Also to weigh it. I don't know how many omelets we're gonna end, but it seems like we're going to four ostrich omelets. And the first one was bigger because of be a lot of food. Like a lot of food. I don't know if I'm doing it. Also doesn't stick. Cook it. Cook. Cook my friend cook. a better kitchen setup at this point. more cheese. Okay, now it's good. Better cheese. Hope y'all like Finished, but going to drain out the water a bit. So it's pretty soggy. 
last one was a little better because remember to drain it out a little bit. I feel like I put the spinach on the earlier omelets and that was just a lot of mushroom left. <laughs> Which is fine. Mushrooms are great. Even if not everyone agrees. I guess if I make four omelets out of an ostrich egg, each one is the qu- How many eggs usually go into an omelet? Three or four, maybe? Brown, so be okay. I'm just gonna put this directly in a tube. I took out some that I didn't season. That's different. Oh, I also forgot about the parsley! Not the parsley! Okay, the scallion. It's fine, it's just gonna be like, ha 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 ha. You can add it in fresh, it's fine, it's gonna go on top, and if you wanna put it in, good luck getting it open. It's green! Whoa! <laughs> the takeout bar! Maybe I am a professional. Alright. Okay, so each one is not. Each one's pro. That's. Just So requested. Oh, I dropped the scallion in it. Oh, it's gonna be. The Dodie requested one with bacon. I'll make that at the end if we still have egg. Otherwise, he can just add bacon to his own at some point. Good luck, buddy. Fish omelette. Ain't that caviar. Hi, Hitler. How are you doing? Go and ask the rest of that egg. How exciting! Hello, so. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Hope you're having a good week. I keep thinking it's Wednesday, but it's Tuesday. I don't know why I think it's Wednesday. While we're waiting for the egg to cook, I'm gonna go grate a bit more. It's just that I have stuff all over the kitchen. 
there, there's so much stuff on the counter. It's, it's like all the mixing bowls in the house filled with various ingredients. And uh, I even had to use some measuring cups ingredients. But beyond that, there's also the tools I was using to open the thing, so like the hammer and screwdrivers. You just like me for it. Alcor knocks over the kitchen wall. Everything's over. We don't have a kitchen wall. No, I'm safe. <laughs> Walls are only meant to confine us. I'm channeling my inner cat girl. Knocking things over. If you hear the noise, that's me creating. I saw grating half a block of cheese would be enough. No, not. Because we always require more cheese. Okay, so mozzarella is really soft, so when you grate it, sometimes chunks just fall off and it's like, it's too small to go back into the grater. Right. So what I do with that is, I just feed it to a family dog who loves cheese, so that be one of the that one. Okay, that's good. Mm. Oh, that's not enough. I don't have to... If I have extra of this, my chopstick skills are kind of like very fellow Asians. Additional I'm gonna have to cook so much more. That was all the stuff I just made. <laughs> Edges sure are crispy. Oh no, that fell off. Um, stay inside the omelet. Go back in. It's missing this little bitty over here, so it's not like super pretty, but it's fine. It's just a minor imperfection. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the fire off. I forgot I made myself a cappuccino right before a stream. Forgot to drink it. Heck. Ah, it's falling out! Um, okay, some of the stuff fell out, but it should taste of Just because I'm like at I'm sorry. So, it seems like some of the filling fell out. Maybe I put too much. It's edible. It is edible. <laughs> I'll put some scallions and parsley on top to make it look prettier. Yep. For those of you who have been watching, I'm sorry. You can tell every single omelet is different. They're all <laughs> unique. <laughs> Eat it just a little egg. Okay, I put it onto my plate to eat for later. I am currently wearing a mask. 
Bar, hello! Thank you for the raid! How are you doing? How was your stream? Thank you so much. Thank you for the follow! How's Genshin? What were you doing in Genshin? I'm gonna move to this now. Um, I am going to crack this. I need much bigger counters for this. Doing great. And you, Alcor, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I'm also doing great. I'm glad you're doing well. What is that black egg? It is emu egg. Similar to ostrich, but like an aggressive ostrich that's maybe slightly smaller. It's definitely smaller than that. An emo egg? <laughs> I, I guess so. I didn't know you laid eggs. Today we learn like the right size to hold. The last time we learned that we just hammer this thing in and hopefully it worked. So like the powder is also green. Oh, you're already oozing out. That's too. Hold on. Oh, you laid that. Dang, dang, Hilder. <laughs> you need a hammer for that. Uh, there are other ways to open it. I'm sure. I just think this is the. I don't have a drill at home, so this is what I got. Now that I dabbed it on both sides, it should be able to... If it doesn't, then we stab it a bit more. Oh yeah. Did I crack the egg? No, I didn't crack it. The egg is perfect, except for the holes in it. not gonna come. My mom was like, remember to go borrow a drill from someone so you can drill the eggs. And I was like, I don't want to use a drill. I'm just gonna hammer it. We are. Okay, do it again. Yeah! Heck. Thank you for the raid, raiders. Y'all should check out Zor. He's super cool. She's very cute. Cute and comfy. Mm hmm. Of course, be like, work harder, not smarter. Me. Me when drawing. gonna surgically make the hole bigger like we did for the ostrich egg. Am I qualified for this? No. What am I gonna do with the shells after? I don't know. Fish been strong. I wish, but really I am a weak one. Maybe? Oh, it's oozing. Okay. I'm just gonna put it in the same bowl that the ostrich egg was in. So it's gonna get a little bit mixed. But I think it should be okay because it's like. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come out. And for egg shake. Can you hear that? Like egg. Oh, get out. Coming out slowly. Um, eventually we're probably gonna have to poke the yolk or something. Maybe I needed to make the hole bigger. God, it sounds goofy. Wait, there's holes on both sides. Blow in the other hole? What? No! <laughs> I'm not gonna put my mouth on this. This came out of an emu's butt, okay? Actually, do they- do eggs come out of butts or is it like- I mean, don't answer that. I mean, I'm sure it works, but I'm not gonna do it, you know? <laughs> the wash your lips after. No, my fish lips. What? No, don't. Not that. We don't have to talk about it. I can just ask Ariel later. 
He knows all about the Kinsuka. Anatomy. Okay, I'm not a chicken, I'm a fish. Think of it as like the loader. No, I'm okay. Thanks. Um, so you're welcome to dream yourself doing that. Would love to see how that goes. You know, I also don't want raw egg in my mouth, so yeah, I'm good. There's like egg yolk all over the shell because I've See, there are like just green parts on my hand from the eggshell. Come on! <laughs> I, we still haven't seen the yolk. Like, this is all white. This is all egg white. The only yellow stuff in the bowl was from the ostrich egg, which was previously in this bowl. I still can't believe the shell bleeds out green. Like an avocado. Avocado. I'm shaking it so hard it's gonna become Where was my pokey truck? Chopstick. Oak. I guess I could make the whole bigger. Should I make the whole bigger? I don't know where the yolk went. Come out. What if you like slap the top like ketchup bottles? Ugh, I don't think that's working. Yeah, I don't think. I think the shell is too sturdy for that. This might take a while. Surprisingly, the ostrich egg, the yolk came out really quick. Huh, see this one has a sturdier one. I'm gonna make the whole Oops. Yeah, I kind of forgot you had to Home Depot the holes. Hmm. This is very DIY. <laughs> Where to go? I have too much stuff on orb. Trying my best not to drop the eggshell directly into the egg. Like the edible egg stuff. Wait. Yolk. And we'll say usually cooking's a little easier because you don't have to do this for four duck eggs. Okay, is that a little bit? Mel. Laura, we need your arms. Oh, now the yolks are out. I seem to have already like pre-mixed it a little in the egg because I shook it so hard. No, that's too much power. Sora would squash the egg with her bare hands. That's true. Sora's too buff. Oh, I can't believe I'm spending my afternoon taking poop out. Uh. 
Yep. I know you guys don't get a really good angle, of the but it's working! It's less orange than the ostrich egg. I imagine it tastes- Is that it? Is that the baby? I guess so, we scrambled it. I run to a meeting, see you later, bye bye. Thanks for hanging out, Sora. Take care, good luck. Okay, ever since you mentioned blowing into the egg, it is kind of a tempting But I'm not gonna do it. Because my family's gonna come home and see me blowing on an egg and be like, What is wrong with you? Are you okay? Why'd you do that? Why do you think that was a good idea? Let's just not do that. Just an intrusive thought now. Yeah, thanks, Hilder. My job is done. Oh no. <laughs> The CEO's list, not uh, the CEO of. Are emus emo off? Wait, it might work out. You have a vacuum, you could hook that up to the eggs. We have a Roomba, I suspect that doesn't work. <laughs> but I think we're almost a little bit more, right? <laughs> be some like egg foam in there just because of how much I ship it. Okay now the ketchup bottle thing is working a little bit. in the stuff out of the egg. hear my dog, but he's whining at the door because there's probably a squirrel outside. Daddy, I'll make you an omelet later. Can't hear dog? Okay, he's just being a whiny boy. Imagine a husky, but slightly less whiny. Only hear the goop? Wow. Goop sounds. I think that's pretty okay leaving it. It's not the best, but it's okay. It's like a uniform color. But it's, it's fairly uniform, so I'm gonna put some salt in it. So 
salt actually became a little red because it's the Himalayan pink rock salt for extra fancy. It probably doesn't. Wow, fancy. Hmm. I don't think the pepper is mixed up in there anymore. More. There we go. Alright, it's mixed. We can start cooking this after... Grate some more cheese. There's a problem with grating, but I just did this. It'll work eventually. I probably have to cut another chunk. Hmm. about the sounds. <laughs> Hold on. Typey, typey, typey. Sounds like my family's on the phone, so at some point they might walk in the door and be like, why there's no phone with them? Just a heads up. to do this, this weirdly shaped not really creating for there a faster way to do this how much cheese is that? it's like not even enough for a wall hmm Extra cheese bitties I'm gonna go give to me. Cloudy, come here. Cloudy's happy. <laughs> mm. Alright, the bacon one I'll probably just make off stream when we get there. Also make the plain ones off. Awesome. That was a little too much, probably. <laughs> The, this one, small one, is the leftover ostrich egg. This is the plain stuff that I was going to make. Um, and this is the egg. So the ostrich egg is a lot yellower. Maybe it was fresher? I don't know. It's a pretty big difference. Okay. A little while to heat up. Okay. 
ready. Remind me next time to just buy shredded cheese, like pre-shredded, because shredding it myself is a lot of work. <laughs> Looks like a very chewed up piece of that I'm trying to break. Why is it like the moss is too soft? No, it's crumbled. Cheese. Give more cheese here. They got a lot of cheese off screen too. Technically. 
likely aren't dogs lactose intolerant once they're no longer puppies. And have them grow up later. <laughs> Feeling that emu egg is not going to be as good as I'll probably stop the stream after I finish. See if there's a difference, but it doesn't look. And it might just because of a sting. Bright orange. a lot of neutral oh the egg goose to become birds does make me wonder how big a baby of oh wiggling it a little too much the egg goose hit Hear a dog whining. Like, I feel them close by. I want to see them. We're almost back, okay? I'm gonna walk through the door. Reason. You see that? Oh, why it's so shiny? <laughs> I don't feel like egg is usually this shiny when it. But you know what? It looks edible. Thank you for the hydrate and the stretch. I will do that. But actually, the stream is almost over, so I'm just gonna finish making this. <laughs> Let's just fold it, unfold it, how about that? You know, it's just an open omelette now. 
Uh, maybe if I put it. It just might not be full. Okay. <laughs> oh, the cheese. It's okay. I do need to fold it a little. Wait. Mm. Okay. You know, it's not a conventional omelette shape, but it's folded. The cheese is melting. It's making a nice sizzle. So, it's all okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn. Let's go. Hooray! the same dish that my earlier ostrich omelette was. You can tell the top one is blue, the bottom one is ostrich. The color is completely <laughs> And it's not a cooking thing. It's just how the egg itself is. I'm gonna cut a little piece but it doesn't look different. I suspect it's very nice. the same. <laughs> Maybe a less rich in the Iggy flavor compared to the ostrich, but it's still pretty good. I couldn't get a cheese bowl. Kind of collapsed. See, on the side. But all in all, pretty okay. Pretty good. So, would I wouldn't say to go out and buy an ostrich or egg and using your eggs, but if you do happen to have one, can do a lot with it. I'd like to see someone try baking. <laughs> Me, myself, I don't bake. So, no baking this time, alas. Oh, I forgot the scallions and parsley again. No! I'll just drop it on top. It'll be okay. Ah. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in today. As you can see, I have a lot to clean up and a lot to eat. But it was fun. Got to make some food. It edible. <laughs> Pretty good. And some friends are coming by later to pick them up, so they'll let me know if it tastes any good. Yeah. Let's see who we can go raid. Okay. Akka is playing GTA Vice City. Let's go raid. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope it was fun. I had a great time hammering an egg and making food and eating it. So I'll see you next time. Do let me know if you have suggestions for foods I can make. As you can tell, I'm a pretty new chef, but I'm trying. Okay, I promise I'm trying. Yeah, see you next time. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow for more Tamagotchi. Bye!